Hello everyone, I wanted to do a quick little video today to show you how to use some good old fashioned lye to clean up your end mills um, from all that aluminum gunk that gets on them. I'm gonna be doing it with some drill bits as well as some end mills. Uh, if you've ever done any machining with aluminum, you know that it can kind of get clogged into the flutes. And if you do the wrong feeds and speeds, guilty, um, you can actually clog them up completely to where the flutes aren't visible like this one and you can just weld the aluminum in there and it's kind of a pain to go through and chip it out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use lye to get rid of that and basically refresh your end mills and make them look practically new. So let's get started. So this process is going to work for cleaning aluminum out of end mills or really any cutting tool. I'm going to be doing it with drills as well using lye. Lye is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. It's um, basically pretty much for these purposes the same thing. Um, you can get it at a hardware store. You can get it on Amazon, link down below. It's pretty common stuff and is relatively cheap. And this little thing should last you pretty much forever unless you have just a million end mills and then, well, you have other problems in life. So what I wanna do in this video is just kinda of show you the process. And I've been meaning to do this for a really long time, but about a month or so ago, I ran into an oopsie on my Avid CNC to where I kinda of messed up the coordinates and I took a quarter inch end mill and basically did 100% engagement, full depth of cut right through a block of aluminum and it just basically stir welded the whole way through. It was a really nasty cut. And the end mill I had was brand new of course, and it was just completely coated in aluminum chips. So we're gonna grab one of those. Um, I got some of the gunk out of it, but we're gonna see how well that cleans it up. So let's first take a look at the bad end mills and see what the problem is and see what we can salvage for some of these. So I've picked a nice little selection of end mills to test out um, with the process. Um, you can see we've got a couple um, twist drills, we've got a couple of end mills, and um, this is a titanium nitride coating. I think these are titanium nitride. And then this guy over here is a titanium aluminum nitride coating, I think, T-I-A-L-N. And um, you can see they're in various states. Um, these guys here in the middle are the worst. You can see there's a lot of chips inside there. I mean, it's fully stuck inside, and this is pretty much unusable at this point. Um, this one also has some stuff stuck in. And if we look closely at the flute, it appears that the full coating is gone. And same with um, this drill bit over here. There's kind of this ribbon that runs down and it looks like that coating has completely worn off. And then also if we look at this one, same kind of thing. So what's interesting is this coating actually isn't worn off. It's just um, completely bonded with the aluminum and that is just um, on there and making a dull cutting edge. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then, um, yeah, same with this over here. You can just see it's dulled and it kind of just makes it look like the coating is completely gone. So that's what we're dealing with. Um, let's get these in the lye solution and make these all shiny and new. So first things first is safety. I am actually outside right now and it is freezing out here. So I'm gonna try and be quick. Um, I've got my rubber gloves on. You wanna protect all skin and eyes from this stuff. It is pretty nasty. It's effectively drain cleaner. So, you know, it's not good to get on you. Um, I've got a glass of warm water. You're gonna mix in lye in a one cup of water to half cup of lye, so a two to one ratio. And we're just gonna pour it in, dissolve it, and then we're gonna dunk in the end mills. So once this is completely mixed up, it'll be largely clear. It's still a little bit cloudy right now, but just to give you an idea of what it can do, here's some metal shavings, specifically aluminum shavings I had from the mill. Let's just go ahead and put these inside. So as you can see, it is just completely dissolving all of that aluminum. And this is why you want to do it outside.
After I dumped in the aluminum chips, it was really cloudy in here, so I decided to prepare a new solution of formula just so you could see what was going on better with the actual end mills. I started with the drill bits, and I had this idea that I'd use a binder clip and a um, screw to kind of hold it above everything, but they were too long, didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. But here you can see just the bubbling and how it's dissolving the aluminum directly off of the end mills. It's pretty cool to see, and it really only takes Eh, about a minute, maybe two minutes max, depending on your um, concentration, of course, to get everything off of there. You can see the bubbles largely stop and after about a minute or so. It just kind of depends on how much is actually on the cutting surfaces. Next up were the two quarter-inch zirconium nitride, or ZNR-coated, end mills, and these by far had the most aluminum welded to them, so they took the longest and there was the most bubbling and fizzing, as you can see. These two end mills were in there for about, I think, five minutes total. I reset the timer once and there was a little bit of time on the beginning and the end. And um, basically, you don't really need to time this. You just kind of wait for the bubbles to stop. I just always like having a timer because I don't know if I forget about it or something, then I'll hear a noise and I'll be like, what is that noise? And then I remember I set the timer for something. And finally, I've got the titanium aluminum nitride coated end mill, or TI. A -L -N. Um, I'm just testing out various coatings to see you know, what kind of impact the lie has on the various coatings. So these are kind of the three most common coatings that you might run into. So we'll see how they are affected. And um, one thing to note too, is that this is an exothermic reaction, which means that it gives off heat. So as the bubbling happens and as the aluminum is dissolved, it actually generates a considerable amount of heat. When I first started doing this, um, you know, it's snowing outside at this point. Um, it's really cold. The water was, um, you know, lukewarm, just kind of warm to the touch. And by the end of this, the glass jar was actually almost noticeably hot to the touch. Not too hot that it was uncomfortable to hold, but definitely noticeably beyond warm and into the hot territory. So something to keep in mind when doing this. So here is everything all nice and finished. After I took them out of the little bath, I rinsed them fully out with water just to make sure there was no residue stuck on them and then just kind of dried them off with a shop towel. Let's first start with the drill bits. As you can see, they are very shiny and very pretty. They look almost new. Um, this one definitely does have some damage on the tip of it. I think this is the one that I tried um, really aggressively drilling some AR500. So that is just something that can't be repaired and that is just a flaw now of this um, drill bit. So I should probably replace it. Um, but this one, if you remember, this one definitely had what looked to be portions of the coating completely gone. And this looks practically brand new. Um, in person, I would not think that this drill has ever been used before. So that came out really nice. Moving on to the TIALN, or titanium aluminum nitride. Um, this one also looks practically new as well. Very shiny, I can't really see any evidence of wear. Um, I grabbed a new one of these and they look pretty much identical. Now moving on to the zirconium nitride, um, you can see at first glance it actually looks quite good, but then if we flip it around, you can see that the coating is actually completely gone on the backside. Now what's kind of interesting is on this other one that had a lot more gummed up on it, the coating is kind of discolored in some places, but generally pretty well intact. And as you remember from the video, these two are right next to each other. So I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, maybe this coating didn't get fully affixed in the process. This is probably like a vapor deposition process. So maybe it didn't fully adhere, who knows. Um, this end mill is still perfectly fine though. It just doesn't have the coating in this place. This will be a great backup for me. So it did remove all the aluminum and I've got nice sharp edges along there. So everything is fine. The last thing that I wanna note about this guy is that if we look very closely right here, um, we can see that the tip is chipped off. Now that is something that I did not notice until I got the aluminum off of it um, because the aluminum was all welded inside here. So something interesting to note, you can dunk these in the bath and then you can evaluate the tips under a microscope and then see how 
the actual cutting surfaces look. So overall, pretty interesting stuff. So if I had to draw a conclusion from this whole little experiment, I would say that titanium nitride and titanium aluminum nitride coatings are perfectly fine for this process, and it's pretty ideal. I'm probably going to go through all my drill bits that I use regularly and just dunk them in this stuff because it really does remove all of that residue, and I'm sure the cutting surfaces are going to be better because they're not you know, coated and gummed up in aluminum, so that's pretty cool. Um, as for the ZNR coating, you know, the verdict's still out. I'm not sure if this is a manufacturing defect where the coating just wasn't on there properly or if this stuff is really eating it away. I'll have to do a little bit more testing. But the fact remains is that end mill was pretty much useless as it was. You know, you just sit there have to chip all the aluminum away. So it did turn it into a usable end mill, um, you know, although one side of it doesn't have any coating. So who really knows? Um, but overall, this stuff is pretty cheap. It's easy to get. This is a relatively easy process. I would still warn anyone that this is still a chemical reaction and a chemical process. Do it outside. Don't do it inside. Uh, make sure you take the proper precautions with covering your skin, eyes, hands, all of that stuff. Um, it is still pretty nasty stuff. But overall, I have tossed out some end mills over the years because I thought the coating was completely worn off and gone. So this definitely would have saved those end mills. So pretty happy about that. As always, thanks for watching. You can check out my Facebook page for more updates about my channel and more fun little projects that I'm doing. And see you next time.